guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got some Mega Helldivers 2 updates for you guys today. It's gonna to be the biggest day ever for Helldivers 2. <laughs> Helldivers 2 is a heavily political rogue souls-like dating simulator open world real-time strategy RPG turn-based science fiction game where you spread managed reloadocracy. I need to reload. Battling endless waves of two ideologically similar yet distinct factions, the Necro Arnie Schwarzenegger Hammer 40k automatons and the space cousins of the common house termite. I'll admit that at first I was a bit skeptical. The gameplay trailer that came out before the game's release looked kind of generic, but then Helldivers 2 replaced Counter-Strike on the Steam leaderboard for a day or so, so I started to take serious notice. But it wasn't until ass mongrel Goblin Bold what the fuck? played the game on his stream, which triggered a twat to tweet that his exposure of the game turned the entire player base into a toxic cesspool. Asmongold played and released a video, and I just knew once that happened, the community would shift. I absolutely hate the fact that I am right. The toxic community has grown because of Asmon, as it always does when he covers a title. So as a huge fan of internet toxicity and as someone who's cultivated an audience for one game then uses that audience as a crutch to sometimes play and make content for other games, I finally loaded up Helldivers 2 to see just how toxic and reprehensible Sewer Jesus had made the game after streaming it that one time like five weeks ago. And as you know, all good chips have a name. So I decided to call this one the Fist of Family Values. What better way to uncover the septic underbelly of the Helldivers 2 community than by fisting good and honest family values down the throats of this game's obviously toxic player base. Bug hole over there. <laughs> Should we go stick our fingers in it? And by pushing through to difficulty levels our freshly democratic balls are just not ready for. Getting completely surrounded by socialism and then calling for help. But Void Dude, I cannot hear you exclaim. How are we going to unlock the Helldive difficulty and earn lots of in-game currency if your comrades would rather drown in an alien lake than party with you? Not to worry, handsome viewers, for I have a solution. It didn't take me long to realize that most of, if not all, of the pickup groups in the automaton sectors ran defend and kill all missions and spam deployable sentries for easy wins. Which means easy levels and easy medals. We'll just join on their active missions a few times and see what happens. Please, we have to leave now. You are the Go best of the best. 
it was clear that this deployable sentry tower defense spam strategy players were using was totally broken. All we needed to do was unlock our own turrets so we could emote our way to true democratic glory. Calling down a sentry. We're like over level 100 now or something, so we can unlock more cheap Star Wars cosplay from our war bond and can finally play the game. Now we can finally play the game. Helldivers 2 has been so fun, it's a miracle I'm not playing right now and I'm actually working on this video. I went from skeptical to absolutely hooked in literally no time at all. In fact, according to Gabe Newell, I haven't slept for 104.4 hours. It just goes to show that even if your NPCs look like something from a toddy Howard game. Our enemies will never accept our way of life. And the person who's clearly in charge is a man. And even if your gameplay is interrupted by expertly camouflaged loading screens, which happen to be cinematic as fuck and somehow never get old. Bum, 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 bum. Literally no one will care because the game is just too goddamn fun. It's just a pity about all the toxicity though. But then I thought perhaps it's because I've not been using the in-game VoIP to communicate with dangerous internet strangers, so I had not experienced the true toxic nature of this incredibly fun masterpiece, so I tried it for myself. I only started playing a couple, like, like a couple of weeks after launch, and it's always been quiet for me, man, so I don't know. But the, the general experience in pickup groups and like randoms has been pretty fucking positive. <laughs> All I can say is, uh, I'll communicate if you want to communicate. Yeah. That's what makes the game fun, dude. Uh, I can't call down the SOS. Uh, up to you. We can handle no, I, 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 I can't. I can't. It's okay. not there. <laughs> Let's do it, bro. Yeah, just keep moving. We can lose them. Down this way. Yep, there's the holes right there. Ah, uh, mistakes were made. That's all right. Uh, we got stalkers. Reloading. Damn, dude. It's so good, dude. I love this game. Yeah, it's, dude, it's so fun, man. <laughs> I mean, that's... Got nothing for that Titan. Are you from the Midwest, bro? Yeah. Your accent yeah, sounds so know. similar to a couple of other Americans that I speak to regularly. <laughs> Where are you from the UK? I'm from South Africa, bro. Oh, dude. Awesome. See, best thing about gaming. You never know who you're going to play with, man. Nice done. Nice. I'll tell you what, man, if you can get this, I can get this. Alright, okay, cool. Do we drop somewhere here? Yeah, that's, that's fine to me. Drop this package. Lay down for a second. Bug outpost spotted. Prepare to exterminate. They just don't move. No, oh, they're coming right for me. Patience. Patience is a virtue. We'll see. Yep. Maybe. Hold on. They haven't verified it yet. They're just thinking. They mostly come at night. Mostly. <laughs> Having a really big discussion. He's busy attacking the SSD. <laughs> Dude, I didn't realize it was this much stuff. Holy shit. Alright. Weapon three, brother. We gotta kill him. Fire in the hole. We're done. Let's get out of here. Back. Watch out on three. That's a big Sorry, one. Sorry, that was a bit close. My apologies. GG, brother. It was a great time. Yeah, it was awesome. 
man. If you want to add me, like a lover, you too, dude. Feel free. You guys are yeah, for sure, bro. My new authentic American Democratic ally had opened my eyes to the undeniable truth. The truth that Helldivers 2 is actually a solo space stealth infiltration tactical sneak game, geniusly masquerading as a co-op sentry deployment simulator. I wouldn't be able to sleep again until I attempted a lone wolf covert insert into the heart of Terminator 2 territory on budget Hoth, cranked up to ultra hell dive level extreme mind difficulty. We're in a drop pod now, and as you know, all good drop pods have a name, so I decided to call this one Long Crawl to Freedom. With our newfound knowledge of Helldivers 2 stealth mechanics, this might as well be set to the trivial difficulty setting. We're in the long crawl to freedom too now, and as we fight off testicular frostbite in the snow, we witness a super destroyer plummet to budget Hoth's surface. We interpret it as a good omen that our mission will go smoothly and call down the seismic probe so we can perform the most democratic high school geology exam of soil samples the galaxy has ever seen. A pack of Kona and the Automatons gets close, but it's nothing Overtune stealth mechanics cannot handle. All that's left to do now is verify a second ore vein. Stealth Divers 2 is probably the easiest game I've ever played. We notice a relay station which should expose the entire map and since sneaking around is so OP we might as well do a few secondary objectives along the way. However, this mech is from Warhammer 40k and that franchise just doesn't respect Stealth Mechanicus. Eventually, I realize that this Necron jamming facility is preventing me from using stratagems, which is quite rude because that's the whole point of the game. And because we're going to accomplish the mission with zero casualties, we need to destroy it with a hell bomb. After a flawless stealth infiltration, we call down the hell bomb, arm it, hell bomb arms. and can get back to our primary mission of performing a geological survey on budget hot dirt once this facility is destroyed. Alive, 
As it turns out, the robotic Conaninators destroyed our hell bomb. What the actual fuck, dude? the high school geology exam stratagem and all that's left to do now is wait for total victory. As long as they don't call in any more dropships, there's a high chance we can still complete this mission. As it turns out, high school is not what it used to be and I'm starting to feel that this might be the most difficult geology exam ever attempted by humans. We complete the survey and we just need to extract and I cannot believe we're going to complete this level 9 hell dive mission solo with zero deaths and survive to make a YouTube video about it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> Helldivers 2 is an incredible experience, both with friends, random internet strangers, and even solo, and I'm so glad there's not a single drop of toxicity, drama, or controversy in this incredible community. Oh well, never mind. Who takes Redditors seriously and why do game news articles even still exist? Thank you channel patrons and channel members for all your support. Your incredible generosity continues to blow me away. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check the links in the description. Consider the join button below and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash voidude. Your continued support genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around. Cheers. Oh, just came around the corner and decapitated me with a chainsaw, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be further away. I want to be as far away as possible.